Dr. Okay, Mamedia's policy, I'm Sane Zamini. Political analyst Professor Raymond Sartner joins me to discuss this column titled, What is Political Analysis? So when yes. you write a column uh, entitled, What is Political Analysis? Are you not assuming that you are the only analyst who understands what it means to analyze? Can that not be interpreted as arrogant? Uh, yeah, no, it can can seem that way, but I give my explanation as to the difference between a number of valuable forms of writing, uh, which are nevertheless not an analysis, and what is analysis. For example, a lot of investigative work is very good, and I'm impressed with that, but investigations are not the same as analysis. Obviously, when you do an uh, investigation, you have to um, have a look at your evidence and make some form of analysis. But that's not political analysis, nor is reporting political analysis, nor is the latest news political analysis. What I believe analysis should be is to try to make sense of what is going on around us, to say, uh, these people are arguing, they seem to be at odds with one another. What is at stake? What is the reason for this um, conflict or this contestation? And uh, what are the issues that they are addressing? Are they addressing them appropriately or correctly? So that is what I understand by analysis, that when we look at what's going on in the world or what is going on in South Africa, we have to make sense of it. We have to say to the reader, because the reader looks to an analyst to help them follow what's going on so that they can make decisions about their own life. Uh, so the analyst must make what looks confusing more comprehensible to the average reader or listener whatever it happens to be. And why do you say investigative reporting is not political analysis? Well, you see, investigative reporting gets to the bottom of a mystery. For example, when money has disappeared, when you get to the bottom of it and you show that it's been stolen by X or Y, or that they didn't comply with PFMA Act or some such thing, you assemble a lot of evidence, a bit like a detective. Investigative journalists are the equivalents of, of detectives in the journalistic world. But being detectives is not the same as being an anal analyst of uh, the direction that politics is taking, whether it's going in a positive way or not. And of course, you have to define what positive means. And when you're an investigative journalist, you're not bothered with all those things. You're actually following the clues, like a detective. You know, they used to say that Mr. Policeman plod, he plods along till he finds the clues. And it's often dogged work. The result is often brilliant but it's patience, careful assembling of evidence, putting it together. And that's what's necessary. What is wrong now with presenting the latest news or reports of what the president says and forecasting what will happen in future? I think the newsroom presents what's happened. And that is just reporting. And you do your best to present an accurate account of what has happened. Now, some people then say, uh, spend their time forecasting, okay, so-and-so has said that he wants to do this and that, and it looks like he or she is a likely contender for the presidency. Now, that is fortune-telling. Some people like to go to fortune-tellers, have their palm read and things like that. But for me, I don't try to understand politics by people guessing. It's a bit like horse racing. You guess that this horse will win the Durban July or whatever it happens to be, and you put your money on that. 
Now that is not analysis, because analysis, or oh, let me say, it's a different level of writing. And if you give a lot of reasons and you link it to what people stand for, and you say the people are hungry at the moment, this candidate speaks to the hunger that people want, and it may well be that it will draw a lot of support. There's an element of forecasting in that, but it's reasoning. And what I'm saying is we have to have a reasoning in political analysis, not just fortune telling, not just reporting. Reporting, I'm not saying reporting is wrong. I'm very skeptical about fortune telling and guessing and spending time saying this one's a future president and that. I, I'm not, I don't, I think if you don't tie that to what they stand for, uh, it doesn't mean much. But the problem with the present is that there's not vision. You know, you can't choose between people who've got vision because there's not a lot of vision. And lastly, Raymond, you criticize the focus on palace politics. Do you then consider the considerable attention to the recent cabinet reshuffle to have been wrong? Yes. Now, I think it's people are fixated with who holds what position. Now, what I think is important is what do they stand for? You can have someone, a change of people in this or that position, but what do they stand for? What is their vision? What do they see as the direction that the society must take? It's not good enough to say that um, so-and-so is likely to replace this one, or that person has got a, uh, is closer to Cyril Ramaphosa. But what does it mean to be closer to Cyril Ramaphosa? We need to know what does it mean in a country where a lot of the population were already hungry, a lot of them are starving since the lockdowns. There was Professor Raymond Sadner speaking to Krima Media's quality about his column titled, What is Political Analysis?